Have you ever pondered over the question of how fast you could potentially travel in space? Well, light holds the universal speed record, setting a cosmic limit that nothing can surpass. So, if nothing can travel faster than light, what does that mean for us and our space travel dreams? To understand why we can't reach the speed of light, we first need to grasp the concept of mass-energy equivalence. This principle, rooted in Einstein's theory of relativity, is key to understanding the speed of light as a cosmic speed limit. Let's break it down. The mass-energy equivalence principle is most famously represented by the equation E equals mc squared, where E stands for energy m for mass, and c for the speed of light. This equation tells us something remarkable. Mass and energy are interchangeable. They are in essence different forms of the same thing. But how does this relate to the speed of light? Well, as an object moves faster, its kinetic energy increases. According to the mass-energy equivalence principle, this increase in energy also leads to an increase in mass. Yes, you heard it right. The faster an object moves, the heavier it gets. Now imagine trying to accelerate an object to the speed of light. As it moves faster and faster, its mass continues to increase. This means it would require more energy to continue accelerating it. But as we push closer and closer to the speed of light, the mass of our object becomes infinitely large. This implies an infinite amount of energy would be needed to keep it accelerating. This is where the cosmic speed limit comes into play. The speed of light isn't just a speed limit, it's a barrier set by the very laws of physics. As we approach the speed of light, the energy required to continue accelerating becomes infinitely large. The universe has a lot of energy, but infinite energy? That's a tall order even for the cosmos. So as we try to push an object closer to the speed of light, it would require more and more energy, becoming infinitely heavy and impossible to accelerate further. Einstein's theory of relativity further illuminates why we cannot reach light speed. At its core, the theory of relativity is about how measurements of various physical phenomena are affected by the relative motion of the observer and the observed phenomenon. It's split into two parts, special relativity and general relativity. Special relativity, presented by Albert Einstein in 1905, postulates that the laws of physics are the same in all inertial frames of reference and the speed of light in a vacuum remains constant, regardless of the motion of the source or the observer. This means that nothing can move faster than light. So if you're imagining a starship zipping across galaxies at or beyond the speed of light, science fiction is where that notion will have to stay. But why can't we push past this light barrier? Well, as we accelerate an object, its mass increases. This is known as relativistic mass. The closer we get to the speed of light, the more the mass increases and consequently, the energy required to continue accelerating also increases. At light speed, the mass would become infinite and so would the energy required to get there. Hence, for objects with mass, achieving light speed is impossible. Now, let's talk about general relativity. It's an expansion of special relativity incorporating gravity as a geometric property of space and time or space-time. This part of the theory, presented by Einstein in 1916, explains the motion of planets, the bending of light passing near a star, and much more. However, it doesn't alter the speed limit set by special relativity. So, no matter how we look at it, both the special and general theory of relativity establish a cosmic speed limit, which is the speed of light. They explain why we can't just crank up the speed dial and zip away faster than a beam of light. Einstein's theory of relativity, therefore, puts a speed limit on the universe. Opening. Even if we could approach the speed of light, the consequences would be quite bizarre. Now, imagine you're aboard a spaceship, zooming at near light speed. As you look out the window, you'd notice some strange things. The first of these is time dilation, a concept that sounds straight out of a science fiction novel. Time dilation is the idea that time passes at different rates for different observers, depending on their relative speeds. To put it in perspective, if you embarked on a journey at near light speed while your friends stayed on Earth, you'd return to find them significantly older, while you'd have aged very little. You see, time for you would have moved slower relative to your friends on Earth. This isn't a flight of fancy, but a reality grounded in Einstein's theory of relativity. But that's not all. There's another mind-bending effect known as length contraction. This principle suggests that objects moving at near light speed appear to shrink in the direction of motion. So, from your spaceship, stationary objects would seem distorted, appearing squashed in the direction you're traveling. This might be hard to wrap your head around, but it's what the laws of physics predict. 
It's as if the universe has its own inbuilt speed regulator, ensuring things get really weird if you try to break the cosmic speed limit. These phenomena, time dilation and length contraction, are theoretical predictions that have been confirmed by numerous experiments. They are part of the fabric of our understanding of space and time. They tell us that the universe isn't just a stage where events play out but a dynamic entity that can stretch and squeeze, warp and twist in response to speed and gravity. So even if we could somehow muster the energy to propel a spaceship to near light speed, we'd have to contend with a universe that seems to turn upside down where time stretches and space squashes. Closing. These effects make near light speed travel a mind-boggling concept. So, why is it impossible to reach the speed of light? Well, the energy needed surges exponentially as you approach light speed, thanks to mass energy equivalents, plus Einstein's relativity reveals bizarre effects like time dilation and length contraction. Based on our current understanding of physics, reaching the speed of light seems to remain an unachievable dream. We hope this video illuminated why we cannot reach light speed. If you enjoyed this journey through space and time, give us a thumbs up, share, and subscribe for more scientific adventures. Dive deeper into the cosmos by watching our other videos. Stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you in the next video.